snoring is so commonly associated with old fat grandpa in a recliner, right? Who's doing this. I'm not going to do a demo because it's so unflattering, but this very loud snoring noise. Snoring is simply taking air in at a velocity that's audible. So even the quiet little cute snoring that women do, it's not cute, she's suffocating. She's trying to get air in so strongly, right? We know it's the right kind of air and the right quality, quantity of air. And if her airway is so small that she has to bring it in at a, the, at a force that we can hear it, that's a serious concern. So yes, if there's any, any snoring, we actually have an amazing um, airway lab pamphlet. It's my favorite one that you guys have. I don't keep a lot of pamphlets in the office because I think they're outdated and people want digital and we don't want to waste paper. But that's one of my favorite. Do you suffer from secondhand snoring? Um, it's the tap appliance because people, so many people take that and put it in their purse. We make a note of it. So when they're, they're, um, their spouse comes in, we can bring it up. But yes, when we explain to it, hey, I am so happy you snore. I'm so proud of you for snoring. That tells me how strong and healthy your body is. You're willing to, your body's able to compensate in a way that you get that oxygen. That being said, I don't want you to compensate anymore. We gotta be able to get that air in at a very gentle force that you're not trying to force in because we really need you to use your nose to filter it. Um, so let's talk about getting the tap appliance for that snoring.